Hi everyone! So I'm going to share with you guys another Make It Raw recipe. It's really, really good, very satisfying and satiating. I think it has the perfect amount of fats in there and it has ingredients just about anybody and everybody has access to out there, hopefully. But I mean, it's 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 an apple cinnamon roll smoothie shaky shake. It reminds me of a cinnamon roll, but it's got like a hint of apple streusel or an apple scone. It's just really all around really good. So I'm going to do give you guys the exact ingredients in grams and everything just in case you're interest, interested in wanting to do the exact amount of ingredients that I use because I know when people generally say this many bananas or this many um, this much of this ingredient this much of that of that ingredient it varies okay fruit varies in size and I know we don't have to do exactly the measurements but sometimes it's nice to do exactly in grams what the person's doing. I don't know if it's that way for you guys, but it is for me and so I'm happy to give you guys exactly the amounts that I use. Okay guys, so the first ingredient I'm gonna put in here is um, one Fuji apple and you most certainly can use whatever type of apple that you love, whatever floats your little raw boat, okay? I love using Fuji apples because they are the sweetest apple and it's kind of the most common apple I always have access to but I just really like the flavor of Fuji apple so I'm putting in one Fuji apple and it came to 234 grams of apples. So the next ingredient I'm putting in guys are dates and you can use whatever type of dates that you want. I know a lot of people have access to the Zahidis and Majuls and um, Deglet Noors. Deglet Noor would be really good in this but I have Halawi dates and Majuls here and so it came to about 70 grams and um, or if you just have Majuls you can just start with um, either two or three large medjool dates because I know medjool dates are super sweet. It's a super sweet date. Dates in general are sweet for heaven's sakes but medjools are like exceptionally sweet and so you can start with two or three and then adjust it from there to your preferences. Again, whatever floats your little raw boats. And then the next ingredient I'm using guys is frozen bananas. I love using frozen bananas because it makes a smoothie even more creamier than regular room temperature bananas and it just gives like makes your smoothie the perfect temperature at the very end after blending and everything. And so I love using frozen bananas and so I'm it come it came to about uh, 500 grams of frozen bananas. Then I'm going to put in one tablespoon of hemp seeds and you most certainly don't have to put in hemp seeds if you don't want to but it's very very good when you add just a little bit of plant fats makes things just even more creamier because we want that perfect balance. Then I'm going to put in one can of Taste Nirvana coconut water with the pulp and this is a super good brand of coconut water and I know it's in an aluminum can but um, I most certainly would love to get it from the young coconut but I don't really have access to those all the time so this is the best I can do and I love the flavor of this coconut water so I'm going to use one can and this is 480 mils or 6.2 fluid ounces right there guys okay that's what it is so now you guys I'm gonna put in vanilla bean powder I'm gonna put roughly 1 4th teaspoon in there but you do it to taste of course and um, then I'm gonna put allspice pot powder in there and then I'm gonna put some nutmeg and some cinnamon and again it's all to taste so you flavor it to your desires hey okay, you guys there's all the tasties in there all the tasties the blender there and so we are ready oh my gosh I actually wanted to um, wanted it a little bit more sweeter so I added two more medjool dates and that's perfect for Miss Dicer guys mm. Mm. Dang, you talk about the perfect creaminess and the apple and those nanners and those spices. 
mad tasty. And this is the perfect size smoothie, of course, for all you raw foodies out there. Gives you a bulk of your calories for the day, very satisfying and satiating. And for me, it takes me roughly three or four hours to get through a smoothie like this. But I mean, I eat it when um, in more smaller mini meals, but it's a super good smoothie. And today it's an apple and nanner day. All right, everybody, so remember to love being raw. Put a big old smile on your face today. I hope I did that for you, and I will see you guys next video, okay? Bye, guys.